Well, the debate over marijuana in Michigan is heating up as we get closer to the November election. Proposal one on the ballot would legalize uh, the use of recreational marijuana and all day long we're breaking down what it means to you if proposal one passes. Now that proposal calls for allowing anyone 21 years old or older to carry up to two and a half ounces of marijuana without getting in trouble with the law. Proposal one also calls for a 10% tax on sales. That money would go towards fixing roads, schools and local governments. If proposal one passes, there could be a lot of questions about what it means for workplace drug policies. Seven Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live for us this morning to help us sort through it all because there is a lot to consider. Matthew. Well, yeah, I mean, Alicia, honestly, this is going to be uh, more confusing than most people realize. There's a big difference between legal, you can do it, cops won't pick you up, and you can do it and your job won't fire you. I mean, let's be real. We know a lot of people smoke pot. We know a lot of people eat their edibles. Uh, that's different because when this becomes legal, as we saw in Canada, there could be an explosion of people smoking marijuana. So there's a difference here. But keep in mind, this is a different type of situation in this state. I mean, let's compare it to social media. You know, you can pull out your cell phone and you you can post anything you want, right? Well, sure, uh, you can't just post anything online, right? Yeah, you have freedom of speech, but we've seen right here in Metro Detroit, some people have been fired for things that they say online. Michigan is an at-will state, meaning that if your boss says you can't smoke marijuana, even if it's legal, well, technically they can do that. If an employer thinks you're under the influence of something during the workday, there's no question you can be terminated. So right up, flat out, your employer may start looking more carefully. Deborah Gordon is an employment attorney. She says it'll take common sense on employees' parts when it comes to marijuana if it's legalized following November's election. And what do I do with that employee? Now what do I do? There's no law that tells me what I do. I have to figure out on my own. How am I going to handle an employee who's walking in here under the influence of marijuana? Of course, if you ask the public whether an employer should care, well, mostly we ran across people telling 7 Action News if it's legal and it's your own time, they shouldn't care. I don't believe that employers should care if you're off the clock and not at work. You know you're not going to come to work drunk, so as long as you're not coming to work under the influence, then it shouldn't be a problem. I agree. I don't personally do it, but if it's on your own personal time, it's almost like drinking. Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. This law that's proposed and what will actually hit the books doesn't really affect the workplace and there's different rules that are going to be in place. In fact, I've been talking to a lot of HR people throughout the entire state of Michigan trying to figure out what larger employers are going to be doing when this law likely hits the books. They're saying a lot of different things. In fact, we're going to be telling you more about that at 645, why you really should be talking with your employer, or at the very least, keeping your ear to the ground if you don't want to talk to them directly about something that currently is still illegal. And we are live this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.